Commune Life. That's the name of this channel. I've been working on this animation for like a month. So I'm super excited to actually be making a video with it. Like here's the landscape and here are the little people and this osprey really did drop a fish on us one time. There are all these little puppets and anyway, here's the channel title, Commune Life. So. What's a commune? Well, there are actually a lot of different definitions, and I don't really want to bore you with the history of the word, so instead, I'm just going to show you what I mean when I use it. This is my home. It's an agricultural community called Eastbrook Farm. We have six members, and a herd of cows, and some chickens, and we all sell vegetables. And in my mind, what makes us a commune, instead of just, like, well, a farm, is that we're working on creating a legal structure which guarantees that our income is shared equally. So there's actually this network of communes called the Federation of Egalitarian Communities. And this word egalitarian means that all the resources the communities have, whether it's land or money or or human labor, all of it is held in common. Everyone has equal access. So like at this community, Twin Oaks, there are 92 members and they all live together in shared housing. Everyone eats together in a big dining hall and they all work in one of the community's shared businesses. But they don't get paid. Instead, people are offered membership in the community. Membership includes food and housing and healthcare and transportation and all of the kinds of things that in the mainstream world, people have to spend personal money. Money on. On a commune, all of those kinds of costs are collectivized. We all work together to make sure we have enough to meet everyone's needs. So that's sort of like an economic definition for what a commune is, and I wanted to get that one out of the way in this first video because it's probably the biggest difference between an FEC community and any of the other thousands of different kinds of communities that are out there. But like, actually, legal income sharing isn't usually the first thing that most people think about when they think about life on an FEC commune. It's certainly not what comes to my mind. When I think about it, I think about, well, this. Color and beauty and people living together. And that's what this channel is about. Life on a commune. Living in community offers a pretty unique solution to a lot of the problems of modern capitalism, but it also exposes you to a new set of problems that a lot of people don't have experience with. So this video is the first in a 10,000 part series about all of the aspects of life in community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Wait, that's it? Uh-huh. I wanted to keep the video nice and short. What else is there to say? So you're one person, and you think that you have the authority to make videos about all aspects of all the lives of the hundreds of people who live in the FEC? Um, kind of. Like, if I don't make these videos, who will? What about other communards, maybe? Well, that would be nice, but that one over there? Their name is Maximus, and they neglected to point out that the word egalitarian in the FEC doesn't just mean that we share all our money. It also means that we have no centralized authority, and there's no single person, even if they're really good at making videos, who has the right to say, here, look, these are the communes, and this is what they stand for. Egalitarian means valuing diverse and even contradictory perspectives just as much as it means sharing money. But I did kind of say that, didn't I? <laughs> no. Maximus will be filming and editing most of the videos on this channel, but their perspective is by no means authoritative or even thorough. So if you want other perspectives, you can check out Commune Life on other platforms. There's links in the description below to our Facebook page and our WordPress blog, where you'll find lots of images and text posts from other communards, and there's also links to our Instagram and our Tumblr account. Yeah, other people make content for Commune Life too, and if you like what you're doing, you can go check out our Patreon page and support us. Our patrons are really what make Commune Life life possible. And that one too, all the links. And if you hit the subscribe button and the bell, and maybe you have to like write a handwritten letter to YouTube, I don't know how to get notified these days. But anyway, maybe you'll see our next video where we actually leave the studio and show you what the communes are like. Won't that be nice? Maybe it will even be beautiful. We'll see you there. Wait, can we show them more drone footage? Fine. <laughs>